What's up guys, Smitty Videos, here to give you another little tool review. Today we're going to talk about the Titanium Cut 45. So we're going to be talking about that, and we're also going to be talking about this Langmeyer Systems CNC Plasma Table. This is the smallest version, but we're just kind of going to go around and talk about this stuff a little bit. I've been using it for a while now. I don't like to do brand new and give you guys a review that's not real good and I have no experience using it. Overall, I'm satisfied. It really brings a new perspective to the table in your workshop. No matter what you're making out of steel, stainless steel, anything really. But, so I just want to talk about this little guy, and it is pretty small, very portable. But then again, it's also from Harbor Freight, so I mean, depends on what your guys' opinion on that is. You can take it or leave it. Personally, it does what it says it does quite well. It will cut half inch. I don't recommend using this table to cut half inch unless you hate tips and like spending a bunch of money on them. But it does do this 3 8 which is a semi-hardened steel, cutting edges for a snow plow. Overall, the plasma cutter does a really nice job. Cuts thin stuff really good, especially stood up on this table here. Consumables aren't super expensive. Definitely something that you want to take care of though. Because a box of five electrodes is over 20 bucks. And your nozzles are 20 bucks. But for the most part, it's held up pretty well. Um, I haven't had any real trouble with it. It'll throw some codes every once in a while if you don't put your electrode in right or if you don't have air. Um, definitely need a decent size air compressor. If you have a small shop, I recommend the Cobalt Quiet Tech just because it's not annoying to listen to run. But here in the future, I'm hoping we're going to get this guy wired in sooner than later, hopefully, after the snow starts, stops flying. Well, so that's the cutter. This Langmeyer Systems. I can't tell you to buy one of these unless you have a little bit of background in CNC, CAD CAM software. It's not super hard to learn. There's a lot of programs out there that'll help you learn and make it a little bit easier. But I would definitely look into learning how to draw and do a little bit of code editing before you pull the trigger on one of these and see if it's something that you want to get into. Holds tolerances fairly well. I mean, it is what it is. A $1,500 plasma table. Yeah. Great place to start. This one is the two foot by two foot version, which I wish it was bigger, as you can see. Getting stuff set up on here at 45 degrees to make it all fit in one cut can be a little bit of a hassle, not a whole lot of places to clamp to this table or really make a sturdy jig seeing as the whole water table moves and the supports inside of it are not held down by anything. Really easy to hook up. Hardest part is probably 
the trigger wire that you have to open your machine up and wire in. Simple, but some people don't like opening their stuff up unless they have to. But you will have to do it if you want to run this setup. All right, so this is 3 8 thick, hardened steel. We're going to cut some carriage squares out of it, which is something that's extremely hard to do without a machine like this or other types of CNC machines. So let's run a cut here. This is Mach 3, which I think they updated the newer ones to, I think it's called fire control. I don't know much about that system, but it's got your coating here. Pretty much everything you need. Zero your machine out, get everything set up and ready to cut, feed rates. You can change your jog speeds. Relatively simple. Alright, well, so let's run this. Hopefully I got everything right the first time. I hate when I have to redo this. So, after you get everything set up, I usually, on a new cut, if it's something I can draw on the piece relatively easy, I'll draw it out, at least some points of it, and run it with the machine off to see if it's lined up good. Well, here we go. Try to start somewhere I didn't grind good enough or Alright, after some editing, we'll make it look all like one. And what happened there was not the cutter's fault or the table's fault. It was 100 percent my fault. Where this cut was starting, I did not have ground out well enough, so it was not getting a good ground. My fault, none of the equipments. But needless to say, got me squares out of 3 8 hardened steel. I am running it maxed out to do that. And if you're looking to cut 3 8 on your Langmire, you're going to want to have her nice and slow. I'm using uh, 4 seconds as my pierce time. And then I'm only running about 15 inches a minute. So, as you can tell, these squares did cut out. Really nice for a lower end plasma cutter that's not super qualified for this kind of material. But like I said, cutting metal, signs, stuff like that something that you want to get into, learning CNC and drawing, definitely another small investment that that knowledge can take you a lot of places. Right. So, I mean, your first sale could be a sign. You know, you, something like this sells for 30, 40 bucks, you got Half hour in drawing it. That thin of metal, I think that cut out in two minutes or so. So that's a neat hobby and 
whether you're using it to make decorations or legitimate parts for your business. These two do go together and they will work for most of the things you need.